name is Javier and welcome back. I want to give out a shout out to one of the viewers, Juan Maldonado Jr. for suggesting that I review the flip out screwdriver by Speedhacks. So here you are buddy, this video is for you. And for those of you that don't know what this is, it's an 8 volt screwdriver with a few tricks up its sleeve. With the main feature being a multi position articulating head with a fully rotating base. Each joint has several fixed positions. And to move into a different position, you press a blue button that corresponds to each joint and you hold it down, move it into position, release to lock it onto place. With the bottom joint having seven fixed positions, starting off with the first position, two, three, four, five, six, and seven fixed positions. And the upper joint has another seven fixed positions. The base can fully rotate in an unlimited amount of positions as long as you choose only the eight fixed positions. To rotate the base, you pull up on a little tab, then you rotate the base and let go so it locks into position. And what I liked about this is that you can make it an inline screwdriver for extended reach into those tight hard to get spots or a right angle screwdriver or even a more traditional pistol grip style or just about any other configuration with a total of up to 380 usable positions to better suit your needs. One of the positions I thought would be very handy is the offset position. And what's great about this position is that in this position you can easily get those hard to reach screws that are at the corner. With anything else you would have to go in at a diagonal angle. But now you can drive screws near the corner while being perpendicular to the workpiece without the need of separate adapters. It has a variable speed trigger so you can fine tune the speed you need to drive screws. Although it tops out at only 175 RPM, which I thought could be faster, it'll get the work done, but I'm used to faster screwdrivers. You can go in forward and reverse by pushing a button on either side or to keep it in the lock position so it doesn't accidentally turn on. It has a built-in LED light near the chuck to help out in low light areas, which is great to have, but what I found to be a little bit different about it was that it runs separately from the built-in lithium ion battery and instead it runs off of a replaceable button cell battery. To turn it on, you have to turn the knob that the light is located onto one half of the dial and on the other half of the dial it turns off. To tell you the truth, I didn't like this too much as I'm used to pressing the trigger and that activating the light and the light turns itself off on other power tools. But you have to remember to shut the light off manually on this screwdriver and because the light is located on a separate power source you have the only part of the tool that ever needs replacing other than the bits, which is the button cell battery. There's a few things I felt it was missing, such as a torque limiting clutch so you don't damage screws or the threads that hold the screws or strip the screw heads as it has a pretty good amount of torque. It's also missing a built-in fuel gauge to let you know the remaining battery charge. And it also doesn't have a built-in belt clip, but it does come with a handy carrying pouch that clips onto your belt to hold the screwdriver in place while it frees up your hands. And to make it complete, it comes with an assortment of one inch bits and a bit holder, so you're ready to go right out of the box. To insert bits, it uses a traditional quarter inch hex chuck with a sleeve that requires two hands to insert and remove bits. It can take regular two inch locking bits and it can even take regular one inch bits and lock onto them as well. Being a screwdriver, it's designed for running machine screws and makes it great for assembling furniture and installing hardware. It also has a good amount of torque for an 8 volt tool to be able to drive small wood screws into wood without pre-drilling. As I was saying, it has a built-in lithium ion battery and the good thing about this is that you don't have to worry about taking the battery out and losing it. But on the other hand, if the battery ever dies, then the entire tool is useless because the battery isn't user replaceable. It comes with the included battery charger that plugs into the screwdriver. And what I like about the battery is that it only takes 45 minutes to charge, which is pretty fast. And it also gets some pretty good runtime. 
I was able to use it on several projects without the battery ever dying out on me. And as for pricing, the regular price is around 50 bucks, and this holiday season 2014, I've actually seen it go as low as only 25 bucks. So this has been the review for the Flip Out Screwdriver by Speedhex. And as always, let me know what you guys think of this tool, and make sure to like this video, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook and Google+. And thanks for watching.